I'm Samantha. I'm the content editor at Aragon. I work on communications and growth. And today we're going to be going through the history of DAOs. So DAO history really started back in 2014 with Vitalik's um, article where he said that decentralized autonomous organizations put automation at the center, code at the center, and humans at the edges. Not long after that, we saw MakerDAO launch. So MakerDAO decided to create a decentralized stable coin called DAI, and they wanted it to be managed by a DAO. So that was launched in 2015. Less than a year later, uh, the DAO, which was the first main big DAO that a lot of people knew about, it launched and unfortunately it collapsed not too long after after a hack and that same year aragon was born so Luis and jorge are the co-founders of aragon in late 2016 they wrote the white paper for aragon and then founded the actual organization in 2017. there was a bit of a lull a bit of a bear market 2019 moloch dao came around so we started seeing more dao frameworks uh, start to get traction compound was one of them they started using the open zeppelin framework and one of the important things about Compound was that they really showed how to put the word autonomous in DAOs with their automatic execution of their governance. And then we started getting a little crazy, but a little fun. So protocols started becoming DAOs, Lido, ENS, Avogadro, a lot of very big organizations uh, turned into DAOs. And here we see the ENS constitution. There was a lot of hype around things like that. And then all of this hype, of course, brought in a lot of news media. So the New York Times covering DAOs. So we first saw that happening in 2021 with Constitution DAO, which was really exciting. And then the excitement just continued to build. We saw scaling off-chain, a lot of IRL events. This is an image of Boys Club here. Um, so we saw social DAOs, we saw media DAOs, collector DAOs, and one of the important things about this era was that these DAOs had to find a way to scale and they really did it off-chain with tools like Snapshot um, because the on-chain tools were just not sufficient for their needs. Now in 2022, we saw a bit of a bear market coming, so less of the hype. It started dying down a little bit, but that actually emerged a lot of new ways to govern. So we saw the nouns DAO model come around, different models like joke DAO, hats protocol, like unique kind of uh, just different ways to govern were coming. Metropolis is another one. Um, and then now we get to 2023 and at Aragon, we've been around for all of this history. So we've learned a ton and we're really taking our learnings from all these past years and applying it to our new tech stack. So our new tech stack, the Aragon OS X and the Aragon app. They are very adaptable, modular. We've learned from these DAOs and from their experiments, their great contributions to the ecosystem. We've learned that it's really important to be able to evolve your governance on chain and to be able to adapt your DAO as you go. So that's what we created with OSX and app. And we're really excited to be a part of a next major step in DAO history and enable uh, hundreds and thousands of new organizations built on chain and just create that next wave of DAOs that will be history making.